So once you give birth, all those hormones that were your best friend, that's my best friend, that's my best friend, they turn against you like those fake friendships in love and hip hop. So hello and welcome to St. Clair's Hair's YouTube channel. My name is Dami St. Clair and we are all about phenomenal hair for the phenomenal woman. So no matter how you wear your hair, it should make you look and feel phenomenal, but most importantly, you should know that you are phenomenal. So today's video is all about postpartum hair loss and that's something that is very real for me right now because three months ago, I gave birth to my second bro for baby girl. And that is usually when telogen effluvium usually kicks in. So the other day I was about to do my hair and I said to myself, hmm, let me check the condition of my edges. And I was shocked. I mean, it was a wash day and I could have sworn, I swear, I had edges before I got into the shower. But then when I came out the shower, it was like my hairline had also gone down the drain. And to be fair, there was a considerable amount of shedding. But I just, I just, I just wasn't expecting what I saw. But not to worry because in this video we'll be going over what is postpartum hair loss, why does it happen, when does it happen, can you stop it and how to restore your hair once you have been through the battle. But before we get into this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel already then make sure you do and you can also follow us on social media it's St. Clair's hair for our hair bundles, frontals and closures, it's SCH care for our natural hair care products and you can follow me on Instagram using Dami St. Clair. I also got into my labour experience on my Instagram. It was such a wonderful experience. I feel like I hear a lot of horrible labour stories. I just wanted to shine a different light or different perspective on how labour can be. So that's on my Instagram stories and my highlights if you want to check it out. Let's go. So what is postpartum hair loss? Well, during pregnancy, your hair is doing the most. Like it grows super fast, it's thick, you experience next to no shedding. When I was pregnant, I was doing wash and goes and I'll keep them in for a week plus and I would literally do nothing. Anyway, I would literally do nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. Like bedtime comes and I'm just like, silk bonnet who? Silk, silk bonnet what? So when it by, I'm tired. I wouldn't even detangle before I got in the shower. I'll just just deal with it all in there. I was pregnant, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was tired. And I would literally experience next to no shedding. Like my detangling comb would be empty. My hair was like a Teflon. When I tried it the other day, this is what happened. That was the first hairball. That was about three. Anyway, I digress. The reason that your hair is so lush while you're pregnant is because your body experiences an increase in hormones such as estrogen and one thing that this causes is for your hair to lock in the anagen phase which is the growing phase. So once you give birth, all those hormones that were your best friend, that's my best friend, that's my best friend, they turn against you like those fake friendships in love and hip hop. And they bounce. Bye! So once your hormones dip, they come out of the anagen and catagen phase and it's telogen time, baby. So sometimes you may not notice it and sometimes you'll literally have handfuls of hair in your hand. It is what it is. So this dip usually takes place anywhere from two to three months after you've given birth and it can last up until your child's first birthday, but everyone is different so it's gonna vary across individuals. But not to worry because one, there's an expiry date for everything even COVID has an expiry date. Two, your hair will grow back. If you do feel uncomfortable with the condition of your hair, then there are things that you can do, such as hairstyles to conceal your temporary hair loss, i.e. this high puff is concealing my disobedient edges. They're disobedient because I told them not to go nowhere. You'll also want to opt for low manipulative hairstyles that cause as little tension as possible to your hair because you don't want to cause any further damage. And you can also opt for wigs. Now if you opt to go down the wig route during this time period, then stay away from small tight cane rows. They're gonna cause tension and possibly even more trauma to your hair. What you want to do is doo plaits, twists, or very loose flat twists if you must. And you want to pair that with a curly wig as opposed to a super sleek bone straight wig that needs to be laid. 
because if you do that you're gonna end up looking like this and I don't want that for you if you feel like you're losing a considerable amount of hair or your postpartum hair loss continues for longer than a year then you should go and see your GP just to make sure that everything is alright can you stop postpartum hair loss as much as you might try to rebuke it there's not much that you can do to completely avoid it however there are steps that you can take to try and minimize the effect so as I said before everybody's different and you might not notice any changes in your hair but if you want to be proactive regardless then you can follow these steps so one make sure you're eating well make sure you're eating healthy food that's going to nourish you and energize you I'm two babies deep so I know that it's difficult sometimes to make sure that you get those meals in sometimes I find myself eating breakfast at 8 p.m what I've had to do is create a very detailed routine and it's difficult to stick to a routine when you have a newborn baby because babies don't have a routine but it's good because I try my best to follow it and even if I don't I don't skip the things that I should have done I go back to my routine back to my schedule and say okay cool the baby woke up when I was supposed to have done X, Y, and Z, let me try and do X, Y, and Z now and kind of prioritize and shift the other things that I was supposed to do. So that's how I was able to stay on top of my eating. So make sure you're taking your postnatal vitamins or supplements. And if you're taking supplements, you need to make sure that they contain vitamin B, C, E, iron, and zinc. The reason why is because as your hair is shedding, a new hair is growing, and that new hair needs all of the nutrients that it can get. So it's very, very important. Reduce stress. Don't try to be superwoman. Don't try to do it all. I've done it. It's not fun. Anywhere that you can solicit help, anywhere you can receive help, take it. From a trusted source, of course. If you want to cook my food, cook it. If you want to wash my plates, wash it. If you want to wash my wig, wash it. If you want to feed the baby, wipe the baby's bum, I receive it. I receive it. I receive all the help. Receive all the help that you can get and minimize your stress because that is going to do wonders for your body and your hair. You're going to want to opt for low manipulative hairstyles. Don't do too much of your hair. You don't need to be doing box braids or cornrows or laying your wig down for 48 hours plus. You just want to do very simple hairstyles that don't cause any tension to your hair and don't require you to do too much but still allow you to maintain it well. So hair restoration. I don't fear postpartum hair loss because as I mentioned before, one, it has an expiry date, two, your hair grows and three, as you can see behind me, I have the St. Clair's hair care range and these products are amazing at stimulating hair growth. I have mums who have gone through postpartum shedding who swear by the products, especially the spray. As a new mum, you're really busy. You don't always have time to be rubbing this oil and that oil and massaging this tin and this tin here. The spray just allows you to spray and go about your business. The product does the rest of the work. We use only high quality and natural ingredients, herbs, essential oils in our products and it's water-based and it's just a powerful combination for restoring your hair. Another thing you're going to want to do is stick to your hair regimen. Don't let your hair routine go down the pan. You might want to tweak it a little bit and maybe, you know, reduce the frequency of when you do certain things or you might want to utilize finger detangling a bit more during this time period but whatever you do don't hide from your hair don't pack it away in braids or cornrows and say see you in six months and think that you're gonna have avoided this thing all that's gonna happen is the hair that is going to shed is still going to shed and it will build up now if that is what you want to do right then when that six months comes don't draw for the rat tail comb get a clipper because the tangled hot mess that you're going to have to deal with requires a special kind of patience that's what i'm saying and lastly as mentioned before Continue to take your vitamins, your supplements, and eat well in order to restore your crown. Thank you so much for watching this video. First video of 2021. Last year, I was only able to produce two videos. YouTube is a commitment. And this year, I believe that I have got my life. So I hope to be producing on a much more consistent basis. And thank you to everybody who has watched, commented, liked, and subscribed so far. Hope to produce much more videos and I will see you soon.